Hello and welcome back to Luke's The Gaming. So here we are back on Terraria after about six months now, I think it's been since I was last on this back in April when there has actually been an there was like an update in June for this that I was reading up on that before coming on and like trying to work out like before I'd actually checked the dates of when the last title update was that I downloaded, I was checking the like trying to work out if I had actually got this update or not, but it turns out not, so there's uh, some new things added and it's supposed to be the equivalent to the 1.2.3 PC version but I'm not because I've never played Terraria on the PC so I don't really know what the the versions are on there. And this is supposed to be daytime according to the map as well but it's just gotten a lot darker so I might have to be a bit careful here. But what I had like my reason for getting back into this finally is that in the, in the, over the last months I've been watching Pat Kratz Twitch streams a lot of, of which he started playing Terraria and he, I think it started off as either the sort of Tuesday with the other stream, streamings people or, or it might have been like his own series that he started off first I think and he does his own sort of Terraria in 1.3 series as he calls it which is like if essentially 1.3 is the PC version and there's a lot more going on compared to this and I think there's a lot more bosses and well, I, I've seen quite a lot of the later game stuff and seen like how big sort of the worlds can be or how much you can sort of explore out there and how much that can go on and all that and I've sort of been learning I guess about things but in terms of that it's not like I can sit here and be like yeah I picked up this and that and I know about this and that and it's more like the case that when I get to finding a certain thing I'll maybe be able to think oh yeah I remember that from Pat Grouch's stream and I might sort of be able to take a better approach but I guess we'll see when it gets to that and yeah well what I had been meaning to do some months back because I had since I last recorded on this in April I had actually done some off camera work in terms of like I think I'd been mining down in these places so like digging down there a bit more and lighting it up in the caves as you can see as well as like over here sort of digging down just expanding outwards and lighting up areas and I think we'll go oh I clicked on that, I was wondering what that was there but yes we come down here, I did do a quick sort of this is more going to be a bit of a progress report episode kind of thing like checking out what we've done and doing a bit of exploring over here because you'll see I've encountered a desert that I wanted to sit there, wait until I'd next recorded to explore that and see what else lies out there. But yeah, I'd done some digging here. I think there was uh, ores and stuff along the way. Uh, I don't actually remember if that heart thing was down there before or not. Maybe it's just been that long that I've forgotten about it, but I did just read it up on the wiki and found out it's a crystal heart, I believe. And dropping that gives you a life. Is it a life heart or something? And you can use that to increase the hearts that you can see up the top of the screen there, I'm trying to like... Oops, hang on, if I use that... No, that's the same reach. But yeah, the hearts up in the top right, as you can see, you can use that to add another one on. Or you can use the heart as a crafting item to make a heart lantern that gives you like a sort of health boost at your base, so I might just do that with it. And there's this chest as well that contains... an agile blowpipe, which I'm not entirely sure what that's used for, some iron bars and a night owl potion. So I think we'll just, rather than just, uh, yeah I think we'll just grab this chest. Can we grab the chest? Uh, I'm swinging at the chest and it's not picking up. Do we use the, no? How about the hammer? No? Do we need like an iron pickaxe to get this or something? Or does it just take a really long time to mine? I'm guessing we use an iron pickaxe to pick this up because, yeah, that's taken far too long to mine. And I believe I ended up sort of picking up something from there. Although I don't know why I put it back, we're about to dig down into here. Although I get the same feeling that as what was just discovered up there, we're going to end up needing a sort of iron pickaxe. I was looking at some of the crafting recipes and stuff beforehand before I started this video off. Don't want st no. So that's apparently blocking our way. And what else is blocking our way then? Is that blocking our way too? <laughs> I guess I'm too used to playing Minecraft to where it's like 
bugs and not digging out like a large enough space. I think what I'd done to place those two torches there was that I'd like stood up here and sort of reached out as far as I could sort of thing. Right, we have plenty of torches there. I should I should really attach those to the hot bar. Nope, not the stone. Let's move the iron into our inventory though whilst we're here. I suppose we can move the stone back. Yeah, let's attach them to there. So I can quickly switch between them. And yeah, we'll just place like a torch here just for the sake of making sure it's lit up and one there as well. Let's see if we can mine this with the copper pickaxe or if we're going to have to... No, we can! So yeah, there, we've got a life crystal now. I believe if we, yeah, if we consume that it increases the maximum life by 20, which is the equivalent to one heart, from what I read. So we'll put that in there to make sure we don't consume it, because apparently there's only about 30 or, I think it's 25 or 30 in a world, or it varies by size, and I'm certain this is a large world, so... We're going to sort of use this one as a heart lantern and then maybe have like another, if we find any more out there one day we'll use them as well. And right, let's continue, let's sort of come down this way. Yeah, it looks a bit more light up there now, it must have just been the storm. I was recording these episodes before on almost a sort of in-game day-by-day basis, or well, not quite, but I was using the sun in the sky as a sort of way of knowing. And I know one of the episodes I found that, I'm not actually sure if I pointed out that that's like a... It's a demon altar for like, used for crafting the... I think it's the Eye of Cthulhu, or the, 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 the item used to spawn the Eye of Cthulhu, which is one of the bodies, and... Although I think we have some of the ingredients, I'm not in a hurry to do that until we've got like, properly equipped and... Certainly got some good gear on, our, on us. And I know that there's a king, a king slime boss that comes before that as well. Not too sure what's down here. Oh, there's another heart crystal down here. I'll grab that then. I might actually need some more of this, some of this stone. In fact, I've got plenty of dirt on me. I believe I can use that to power down. I'll have to make like a, oh, uh, yeah, mine this. Right, that, yeah, that gets me out of the way there. If I uh, use these to try and make a little staircase thing down the way, I think. It's not letting me attach there, but if I do that... Yeah, it'll be easier to make some kind of staircase thing from down here, I reckon. Or, or like a little ledge here, I mean, just so I can like, get back up again. Is that...? Yeah, that does fine. That'll do. <laughs> Don't need to go too fancy with it. Well, let's get those torches on the bar. Or in my selection, so to say. Aha. Uh -huh. well, I was trying to place them with the wrong bit there. Nope, I can't. Oh, there's a thing up there? A flying fish thing? What on earth is that? <laughs> well, I'm curious now. A flying fish? Oh. Well, <laughs> that was a flying fish, apparently. Let's just put this back here. Did that drop anything? No? We just have coins that sort of been more aware of them and the fact that you have to sort of keep a hold of things like that. I believe we just got more coins out of that barrel there. And there's an array of... are these things that I can... hang on. Oh, I, I appear to have... Yeah, it's because I'm not used to the fact that you have to move around the inventory with the left stick. So, get that back there and... I think that for that on there for now. Or maybe the hammer. Yeah, I think the hammer will do. Now, do I have to be close enough to place it? Or am I putting it in the wrong? I don't know, why is it not letting me place a torch? No. Oh, right trigger. I was pressing both there. Yeah, you can tell I've not played this in a long time. I'm pre pressing all the wrong buttons here already. I think we'll do the same here again, like, we'll, yeah, so I'd do something like that. 
just make like a little bit coming down here. Just like, uh, I think that should be enough if we jump up. Yeah, that gets us back up. Yeah, I was wondering if these are like, are they just the top of blocks? Or? Yeah, that's just like, it's part of the scenery. Right, anyway, we came down here to grab that other crystal, so let's do that. I know that we've got two life crystals now. So I guess we can have one for like... If we get a couple of lanterns, we can have one for a base and one for like regen when we're out exploring. That's that's what I read on the wiki anyway, that was a good idea to do with them. And I have to be sort of careful here with the water, because... And there's blue things? No, oh, that's water over there. I, thought, I saw the blue glowing thing and thought it was one of those, uh, like a shroom farm of some kind. Well, not a shroom farm, but I know you get from watching pack rat streams, I know you get like a sort of area that glows blue like that uh, squid, not squid, it's like a jellyfish thing over there. And you can use those to grow like pumpkins and things on. No, I didn't mean to place that one up there. Trying to make another sort of L ledge here, just so I can jump up to these bits. Can I grab that back? Can I not even get up there? <laughs> ah, it was that dark block was stopping us getting up here. Uh, no. I'm just trying to put some. No, yeah, well that's not what I meant. But can I? No, that's not what I wanted to do either. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, so I break the torch so I could have it back again. Yeah, I believe a torch there will do. I'm just exploring this just to see if there's anything else around about or or any more of those heart crystal goodness things. And I'll put a torch there, I guess. Where, where's this even going? Oh, it's just like a little dead end cave thing up here. Didn't mean to place two there. <laughs> yeah, if I'm honest, I'm not entirely sure what to do for more episodes. Like, I guess I was doing, like, whereas before, like I said, I was doing most of the back to back stuff. I guess uh, what I'll actually have to spend time doing is, like, off camera, uh, exploring and mining and stuff, and get some resources built up and get better armor and tools and just general sort of supplies. and maybe do a bit more exploring in different directions. Now, I don't know why it's dark again. I guess I re started recording at the wrong time of day. So I was hoping to go out and explore that desert, but what I might end up doing here, or, or I suppose I can use this time to go up here. And I don't think I have the resources. Oh, a fallen star. Right, let's put this back to that mode so I can select things a bit better here. Right, let's put these in there for now. I believe you need either a lens or a bottle to craft them. If I go in that one... Yeah, I believe I need a bottle to craft... Nope, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, I think it's a bottle that you need. I know you get the mana crystal things. I'm guessing it probably won't show up in our crafting. I don't know which part it would show up on. Maybe this section. Yeah, I think I think it'll probably show up somewhere around here once I've got a bottle. Or maybe I should hang on. Nope, it's the chest I want to. Let me put that back in my inventory and see if that makes a difference to the if I open that up. Keep pressing the wrong thing here. Is it here? No. Hmm. Maybe it's decorative or something. It could be here, actually, if this is decorative stuff. Because I believe it's like a decoration, but at the same time it's a buff. Uh, no, I'm still not seeing it. I guess I do know that you need a chain as well to make one. I think it's a. No wait, it, 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 I believe it is a chain. Yeah. Um, do we have chains on us? Yeah. Right, one iron. Let's make a chain quickly. If 
so... Uh, what did I just do? Oh, I dropped the iron. Right, let's make a chain. I believe we can. Oh, that's up at the anvil. Yeah, now we can make a chain. We can make a bucket as well, but... I believe it's a chain that you use. Well, it makes ten chains, should I say, rather than a chain. And I think if we... Yeah, we have a space for those. And I keep deselecting things because I'm sort of not used to the crafting in this. The, the menu, should I say. And I did put these coins in my inventory. And what does that... No. Oh. I guess they don't stack as high as I thought they might. I'm trying to grab the other ones here. I know you get like a bank of some kind, but I don't know what the crafting recipe is for that without looking it up, and I don't know if I have a available access to it yet. Right, let me see if I can't craft the heart thing that I'm on about. If I go on the right tab, that is. Uh, Nope, it's not under here, that's all armour. Is it anywhere on here? No? How about here? Nope, it's still not showing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the heart, heart ladder in. So it requires four chains. Right, we'll have one of those then. And then I believe if I, if I place this... Where can I place it? How about if I place it up here? Aha, there we go, now we have two buffs. And they can be used to like quite quickly restore health. I'll keep the other one in the chest for now, but we can sort of make in future sort of craft those together and take it with us. And then we'll be able to like place that down and use that as like a a way of healing out in the water. Out in the water, out in the open. Yeah, heart lamp. Right. Life regen is increased and life regen is slightly increased, so those combined together make like a good sort of combo. That's from what I read anyway. And once again you'll see I've managed to use the D-pad to try and scroll through the craft the craft in the inventory. And I'll need to do sort of smelting of iron as well as like mining of ores off camera because I noticed there's a lot down there I've not touched yet. And I think that's the moon up there still. probably going to be a lot of things wanting to kill us out there so now would be a bad time to go exploring. What I might do actually is because there's not got much else to say at this moment besides from like whatever I've done already is that I'll sort of come back when it's daytime and we'll do a bit of exploring over in that desert there. So I'll be back soon. Right so here we are we're now sort of further along at this desert so let's see what's waiting for us to be found. We're waiting for words. Basically words. We're waiting to see what's out here to be found or something. Um, yep, that's a bad vulture. Can I... This desert could end up being quite deadly. Yep, so there's a vulture been waiting for us, seemingly. And I have like a basic copper sword, I think it is. Oh, this thing's gonna kill us, or if if we don't kill it first. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Anything else out here want to kill us yet? And I believe is that honey, or or I think that's just desert water, rather than honey. What would honey be doing out here? Mm. Right, let's keep going along this way. Is that another vulture? It is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we've awoken the vulture. Quick, run. Just run. Just run, 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 run. Taking on the vulture in this state is certainly going to get us killed. Unless we can sort of... And we don't have a way of getting back. Well, this is going to be our death, isn't it? <laughs> Unless I can keep doing this. If I keep getting him to dip down there without hitting me quickly now. Nope, no he's gonna get me killed, he's good he's definitely going to get me killed. Run 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 Can I 
I'm going to have to run around here to try and heal up a bit. Chances are, though, it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. The inevitable happened. Right, let's quickly backtrack along there. Because it didn't take us that long to get along that way. So it seems that we're actually going to have to sort of return to that desert again another time, I think. I mean, we'll keep going along there, and if we get killed again, we'll be like, yep, fair enough, that was going to happen. And of course, there's these slimes waiting to kill us as well before we even get near the desert. I mean, I killed a few of them along the way getting there. In fact, we're just going to. No, slime. The gel from the slimes can come in handy. <laughs> as well as, like, the fact they're taking health off me already, but I should be healed up before we get there. This might be a bit of an extended episode as compared to, like, uh, previous episodes. Get me away from this slime! Ooh. Wow! <laughs> the vultures expect to kill me. They seem a bit OP for me right now until I upgrade my tools. But slimes, <laughs> come on. Yeah, this might be a bit of a longer episode. Uh, what on earth are those? <laughs> those seem those seem even worse than whatever we last encountered. Can I like right, I've got my stuff back, but those things are hitting me everywhere. Well I've got some of my stuff back, should I say. Is there more vultures waiting along here for me, or can I, like, explore some more of this desert? There's cactuses here. Uh, I guess I should maybe take some. Is my... yep, it's still set up. Can I... can you even take cactus? Aha, you keep wrong, wrong too. <laughs> we'll mine a few of these up then. I guess we'll leave, like, the bottom part. And I, I don't know where that one came from that I mined up first, but there I'll do for like a putting one back. <laughs> it's like we go from getting killed to now, so uh, let's mine some cactus. I don't know what cactus has a use for, but everything in this game seems to have a, have a use of its own for something or another, so... Yeah, I think that's enough cactus for now. If we need any more, we'll come back. I'm keeping an eye on the time here. Just because, like, I know I've done 18 minutes before, so 10 minutes will do for this one, I reckon. I know that, or well, for this part, should I say, or segment. Uh, is this actually going into something else now? Is this, like, going from desert back into something, like, some piece of land? A jungle bat? That seems like it wants to bite me in the face. Let me guess, I'm going to be killed by jungle bats. By a swarm of jungle bats, I'm, I'm actually going to be killed by jungle bats. What? Run. Uh, maybe not run into the water, but... And there we go. <laughs> and that you were slain sign looks really glitchy. Well, <laughs> GG I guess to that one. I think I'll go back along to the desert myself and collect my bits and then try and get out of there without being killed again, but... For now, I reckon that'll do it for this episode. I mean, the sun's still halfway in the sky, so... Yeah, I'd like to go back along there and try and grab some of those coins. I know I still have... Well, in terms of these ones, I'm going to stick these in the chest, actually. Like I did with the rest. At least you keep your inventory. Yeah, I need to find out how you get the piggy bank thing that properly stores the coins, rather than... Because they're taking up room in the chest. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode there then, so I'm not sure what we'll be doing next, but oh, I managed to, re managed to disconnect my controller. I'm using a wired one, so it's kind of, it seems to be if you press, if you sort of touch the USB cable, it disconnects it briefly. But yeah, we've actually travelled quite a, a lot further through that desert and even like made it out the other end. Or well, I say we made it out the other end, we only made it that far before we got killed. Sorry if that map moving uh, around too much. 
see how we can't like it only lets you zoom out so far right now so yeah that's as much as we can view on this map right now but yeah I guess that bit there is potentially like the desert for the or well, where I'll be returning to and trying to get my stuff back from somewhere along here and then see if I can get back without getting killed again so wish me luck I guess but yeah for now that'll do it for this episode so yeah stay tuned for what other else I do next on here and as always stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.